Waggy, it's been great to see you and, and all the guys back for uh, today. You're in a slightly different boat to, to Nuge and, and to Bryce, certainly. But um, but how was it for you coming back to Pride Park Stadium? Do you know what? As soon as they, um, before they dropped the message in and dropped the kind of hinting that could possibly happen, I was I was over the moon, not just kind of to be back where I was for so many years and really enjoyed myself. It's the fact that there's the appreciation from him and to come here on his big day, everything that he's been through and kind of share that experience with him at a place that's so close to my heart. So, yeah, it was, it, was, it was fantastic. Loved it. Being like a little kid the last few days, getting ready for it. So, you know, it was, it was, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. Just on your sort of derby story, if you like, I mean, I think you're aware, you're conscious about you never got the chance to really say goodbye to the yeah. supporters and I know that connection was really important to you. So yeah. did you feel like today was sort of the end of that story? Yeah, 100%. Do you know what I mean, with the way it all finished and the fans not being allowed in and always wanted to try and stay on, but for one reason or another, that just never happened and obviously the club went in the direction it did and to come back and have the reception, it was it was amazing and like what, what we previously mentioned, I always feel like I tried to have a good relationship with the fans and the crowd and to, to have that appreciation was, was lovely. Tell me about your mate, Fozzy. Um, is he the same with you guys, you know, wherever it may be, as, as the Fozzy that we see yeah. we see out on the pitch? Honestly, he's one of the nicest, kind-hearted, generous people I've ever met. Just kind of down to earth. He is what he is. What you see is what you get. <laughs> A couple of sly remarks every now and then, <laughs> which he is in the in the dressing room. But honestly, he'll do anything for you. And I think that showed kind of the reception the boys coming back today and just, just everything's for him and he deserves it because he's got a wonderful family he's a great guy and no matter what happens football he's always kind of got his head down got on with it the setbacks and come back and stayed the same and I can't give anybody enough credit just because of who he is mentally, physically and what he's been through just to keep going and going again and he fully deserves his recognition Waggy, it's always a pleasure Thank you. Thanks, cheers for having us Thank you